Welcome back to Corad Core. Today I'm with Jose Palma, one of our future seminarians starting in a few weeks at St. Joseph Seminary. Jose, thanks for being here today. Well, I'm just very happy. <laughs> so how is it preparing to begin your this next year at St. Joseph's? Well, just I'm very anxious, I guess. I'm ready to start. Well, first I was kind of scared and nervous. So now I'm just like, all right, I just want to start. <laughs> Where are you from? What parish? I am from St. Joseph Catholic Church in Ashboro, North Carolina. Well, I live in Randleman, but our parish is in, St. in Ashboro. Um, when was the first time that you began your discernment of a possible priestly vocation? Mm, probably when I was like 20, 20 years old. That's when I was probably first had that thought. And now you're how old? 22. Okay, 22. so you're one of our older ones. Yeah, for this I think year. I'm the oldest in St. Joseph. <laughs> okay, so you'll have a very big brotherly role. I guess. <laughs> what are you looking forward to about studying in our home diocese? I think it's something very, very special and uh, unique because um, we'll be so close to home and I think the whole college seminary is definitely a fruit of how well our diocese is doing and the, the, the really good priests that we have, the great bishop that we have. So it's very special to be here, especially to be informed by one of ours, you know, Father Cal, he's magnificent. So I think it's definitely something very special. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what, now you've taken part in Quo Vadis days, right? Well, I just served the first time okay. this year. <laughs> so it just seems like there's more and more things happening in our diocese to promote vocations. What would you say to any of the young men who are watching and just kind of watching this new growth spring up in, in our diocese? And just always give them a chance with God, you know. Um, God will never, never fail us, so they just give God a chance, you know, to where God will take them, you know, and, uh, and not be afraid of where God has taken us. And, really open their hearts to God and uh, not be scared. And if they, they feel a call from God to take it, because, you know, if we just ask God and not do nothing, you know, or not listen to him or not take that decision, then it really matter for nothing. Absolutely. Now, I think you also have done some work at the seminary. Have you done some painting? Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And the we gardening? did some gardening yeah. <laughs> and painting with, uh, with Mary. Yeah. How was that to um, work on your own home? Your future home. That was very unique. It was like building our own seminary, and as I don't know, in a sense, we do get to do it in the literal form because you know we're the first guys starting. So, guy having to work there, it was really cool because we got I got to see inside, get to see the rooms, got to see where we're gonna live. So it was, it was I loved it a lot, and just working. Yeah, and you've also had a bit of a chance to get to know the young men that you will be living with in that first year and kind of starting that brotherhood together, right? Yeah, yeah, I got to meet every single one of them. They're there. They're great. I mean, they're just, I'm really excited to be able to be in seminary with them. They're just great guys, all of them. Well, Jose, thank you, and do be sure of our prayers and the prayers of everyone in the diocese as you begin this new adventure. Thank you. <laughs>